The following is a selected video from masterthecontent.com where you will find an extensive video library of lectures for a variety of standardized admission tests. We offer over 600 hours of detailed video lectures for a multitude of standardized tests. Use our interactive in-lecture table of contents to find specific topics of interest. Work through numerous in-lecture examples to help you internalize concepts. To learn more, visit masterthecontent.com. Your career, our passion. Solubility equilibria. Calcium carbonate. Okay. Uh, within the soil, you can also find calcium carbonate. And what ends up occurring is when water seeps into the ground or into the soil, it will actually cause the dissolution of the calcium carbonate. And another way we can actually look at this is through the solubility product constant. And what exactly is the solubility product constant? Well, let's take a look. The solubility product constant or solubility product relates dissolved concentrations of ions, so the carbonate here and the calcium, right, obtained from the dissolution of a compound that is slightly soluble. So here's our compound that is slightly soluble. All right, great. If we just widen the scope a little bit, we see here that the general solubility equilibrium is as follows. And from that, we get our equilibrium constant expression, which is as follows. All right, great. Now let's get some practice in by doing some examples. Uh, before that, let's take a look at some solubility product constants of some slightly ionic compounds. Here we're looking at aluminum hydroxide, barium uh, carbonate, calcium carbonate, barium sulfate, chromium hydroxide, and calcium fluoride. Okay, great. Now we're ready for some examples. We'll begin here with uh, writing. We'll begin here with writing. Uh, write the expression for the following. I guess calcium fluoride. Well, for calcium fluoride, it's just going to be the following, right? There we are. Now. As you see here, we had two fluorides. Again, we're just following. We're just following the equilibrium constant expression, right? As we see down here. Wonderful. Now the next one here is barium sulfate. So for barium sulfate, this time we also have sulfate involved, right? I'm trying to trick you there. So just be cognizant of that. That will be the following. Oh, there you are. Now our last one here that we can take a look at is chromium hydroxide and chromium. This is a three plus cation, right? That we know, and we know that because of how it's written, and we learned that in the previous lecture. And here we have hydroxide, and how many? hydroxides do we have? Well, we have three hydroxides. That there is three examples of how you would write the solubility product expression. Wonderful. Now let's actually do an, a, another example, maybe a little bit more challenging, right, for solubility equilibria here. How many moles, how many moles, uh, excuse me, how many moles of calcium fluoride dissolve in water? Then we're being asked to find how many grams of calcium fluoride dissolve in 0.075 liters of water. Okay, we'll begin with the first one here. And our solubility product is 4.0 times 10 to the power of negative 11. In the following reaction, we have calcium fluoride. Now, we'll define the amount of moles that dissolve as X. And if we have X moles dissolving of calcium, 